5 Reasons Kim Kardashian is Seriously Terrified of Kanye West Welcome back to Bingeworthy Network. Refusing to divorce Kardashian and buying a house right across the street from his ex-wife. Here are the 5 reasons why Kim Kardashian is seriously terrified of Kanye West. But before we jump in, hit that like and subscribe button to be notified and updated on the latest Kardashian drama and news. Kim's New Neighbor it's been almost a year since Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from Kanye West, but the international superstar still refuses to come to terms with reality. Even though fans and Keeping Up With The Kardashians viewers have enjoyed following the Hollywood divorce, many have begun to worry about Kanye's obsession with Kim, including the reality TV queen herself. According to new reports, the father of Four and Yeezy designer has bought a multi-million dollar mansion right across the street from Kim Kardashian. As shared by insiders, this is Kanye's new attempt to win Kim back. Entertainment Tonight went into detail about Kanye's new crib and what plans he has for his family in the near future. As shared by ET, Kanye West had bought a four and a half million home across the street from his ex, Kim Kardashian. West has been on a very public campaign to win back his estranged wife, and a source told Entertainment Tonight that his real estate decision was partially motivated by his desire for reconciliation. Kanye really wanted to buy a home near Kim and their kids to be close to them. And Kanye saw a house on Kim's block on the market and jumped at the chance to get it. Wes thinks it will be easier to co-parent with Kim if they live close to each other, but he also still wants to have Kim back. Kanye believes he still has a chance, the source continued. Kim is fine with Kanye buying the home because she feels like it will be easier to co-parent and watch their kids in privacy. As soon as this shocking news made its way on social media platforms, thousands of fans began comparing Kanye to the notorious Netflix U series character and stalker, Joe Goldberg. Kanye West equals Joe Goldberg Kanye West should have played Joe Goldberg in You. Kanye West buying a house besides Kim Kardashian is exactly the kind of creepy slash stalking guy vibe that we've been telling you all about. Kanye West spying on Kim Kardashian after buying that house. Refusing to divorce If you thought buying a house right next door to Kim was weird enough, wait until you hear Kanye's confessions about his divorce. As we've mentioned, Kim and Kanye have been separated for nearly a year now. TMZ and Page Six first leaked the divorce news in January and February of 2021, but still, after 12 months, Kanye refuses to settle for divorce. As told by the rapper, he doesn't accept the fact that he and Kim have started their divorce journey. Kanye still calls Kim his wife and isn't planning on going anywhere. During an interview with the Drinks Champs podcast, the father of four made this unusual comment about Kim's explosive SNL monologue. SNL making my wife say I divorced him on TV because they just wanted to get that bar off, and I ain't even seen the papers. We're not even divorced. That ain't no joke to me. My kids want their parents to stay together. I want us to be together. This statement came soon after Kim was caught getting cozy with the Saturday Night Live star Pete Davidson. After insiders shared some interesting insight about this Hollywood relationship, Kanye decided to set the record straight by refusing to divorce Kim. Kanye hates Pete Davidson. Only a few weeks after Kim hosted Saturday Night Live, the Keeping Up With The Kardashian star sparked a romance with Pete. From secret dinners in NYC to weekend getaways, Kim and Pete are now the hottest couple in entertainment. And yes, even though none of us could have predicted this pairing, we must admit we're so intrigued and interested to see how far Kim and Pete will take their romance. Along with funny faces and peace signs, we see Kim and Pete sport the same PJs, and while the mother of four and the SNL alum aren't displaying any PDA, the picture did upset the Dunder artist Kanye West. According to insiders and close sources who spoke to Hollywood Life, Kanye was upset and devastated to see his ex-wife move on so quickly, especially considering how Kim had invited her new beau over at Kris Jenner's private home in Palm Springs. Kanye is not at all happy with Kim and Pete taking things to the next level, and he was very upset that Pete was invited to Kris Jenner's house. He said that isn't right because that is the grandmother to his children. Well, while Kim K has accepted her separation with the Donda musician, Kanye West has a different approach. According to reports, Kanye has ordered Kim not to go out with Pete or display any public affection. He has a real problem with them being an item. It's typical of Kanye to have double standards. It's okay for him to date other women, but it's not okay for Kim to date Pete. Kanye has known Pete for years. They'd meet up for dinner or lunch when Pete was in LA, call each other and that kind of thing. I'd say they were more acquaintances than good friends, but that doesn't stop Kanye from feeling stabbed in the back by Pete. Kanye was really put off by Kim holding hands with Pete, and he did not like it at all. He asked Kim to please refrain from showing public display of affection with anyone until their divorce is finalized. He told her that it doesn't look good for their family and it doesn't look good for her or in the eyes of God. Cheating on Kim 
As you see, Kanye West has trouble letting go of his ex-wife Kim Kardashian. This may come as a shock to most Keeping Up With The Kardashians viewers as most have witnessed Kanye admit to cheating on his wife. Yes, thanks to his new album, Donda, West let the world know that he wasn't the best husband in 2016. In his newest record, Donda, there is a song titled Hurricane. In this track, Kanye lets the world know exactly what happened behind the scenes in 2016 when Kim was pregnant with their second child, Saint. Page Six shared the details about Kanye's cheating by sharing, Kanye West cheated on Kim Kardashian after she welcomed their first two kids, and it's the inspiration for his new song, Hurricane. Multiple sources confirmed the meaning behind the telling lyrics in the track off Donda, West's latest album that was released with plenty of fanfare and controversy. The song is, in a way, his testimony of everything he did wrong and taking accountability for their marriage breakdown, one insider shared. In the song, West raps, Here I go acting too rich, here I go with a new chick, and I know what the truth is, still playing after two kids, it's a lot to digest when your life always moving. Our source confirmed the aforementioned new chick is not West's brief fling Irina Sheik, despite rumors swirling online. If you look closer to the lyrics, he is referring to his infidelity during his marriage with Kim, even after two kids, the insider continued. Kim was unhappy in marriage. And the last reason why Kim K is not on board with her ex-husband's chaotic antics is the fact that the mother of four was very unhappy during her marriage with Kanye West. Before the last episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians aired in 2021, the KKW Beauty founder let the viewers know what was going on in her head and in her heart. For Kim Kardashian, the last straw was seeing how alone she was throughout her marriage. Kanye would often fly back and forth, would find new homes to build and renovate, while Kim was stuck in Los Angeles with her kids and her businesses. All of this back and forth drove a huge wedge between Kim and Kanye. The reality TV star was so tired of her marital problems, she even spoke about it on KUWTK. I just honestly can't do this anymore. Why am I still in this place where I'm stuck for years? Like, he goes and moves to a different state every year. I have to be like together so I can raise the kids. He's an amazing dad. He's done an amazing job. I just think he deserves someone who will support his every move and go follow him all over the place. Move to Wyoming. I can't do that. He should have a wife that supports his every move and travels with him and does everything. And I can't. I feel like an effing failure. It's my third effing marriage. Yeah, I feel like an effing loser. But I can't even think about that. I want to be happy. I never thought I was lonely and I... <sighs> I always thought, that's totally fine, I could just have my kids. My husband moves from state to state and I just, I'm on this ride with him. And I was okay with that. And then after turning 40 this year, I realized like, no, I don't want a husband that lives in a completely different state. To me, I thought, oh my God, that's when we're getting along the best. But then that is sad to me and that's not what I want. But despite Kim Kardashian candidly telling Kanye their marriage is over, the Yeezy designer is still not backing down. But what do you think about Kanye's stalker behavior? Do you think Kanye West has gone full stalker mode? What would you do in Kim's position? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications and share this video with your friends. Goodbye, everyone.